Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. I've had career advising clients who turn off most people, often because they're too intense, or they're on the autism spectrum, or whose appearance isn't conventionally attractive. Such people might want to consider one or more of the following career directions. Working with special needs people. Often special needs kids and adults are more accepting of adults with non-standard interaction styles. So might you want to work with, for example, older adults with physical or mental limitations, with children with developmental disabilities, or even autism? If so, you probably should visit a facility serving such people. Job shadowing is wise in exploring any potential career, but is particularly important here. Running an online business. Among other factors, the ever-worsening traffic is causing ever more brick-and-mortar stores, indeed entire malls, to close and an ever larger percentage of shopping to occur online. Of course, you don't want to compete in bailiwicks dominated by the giants like Amazon and Walmart, but micro niches may be viable. For example, and I haven't vetted these ideas, selling brownies, or talking trainable parrots, or tutors for people on the autism spectrum, custom athletic shoes, netsuke sculpture, custom bookbinding, or personalized doormats, just a few examples. Or might you want to work with data? Might you want to get trained in, for example, accounting, coding, database management, or if you're really ambitious, data science, which is among the careers most likely to continue growing for the foreseeable future? Or might you like to work hands-on? Have you, even as just as a child, shown a facility for building or fixing things with your hands? There are myriad careers for hands-on people, for example, jeweler, iPhone repairer, robotics technician, cabinet maker, pastry chef, welder, and nurses and physicians, especially surgeons, who specialize in invasive procedures. Or might you want to work with animals? While many jobs in this field are volunteer, for example, at shelters, or low pay, for example, vet techs, even if a decent income is a requirement, there may be opportunities, for example, as an administrative assistant in a shelter, or an accountant at a pet supply retailer, or at the corporate offices at least, or pet food manufacturer. While those won't have you interacting a lot with animals, such places of employment can be a good fit for people who aren't people people because they tend to be pet-friendly workplaces, allowing employees to bring their pets to work, and because, compared with the average workplace, you're more likely to find kindred spirits there. Of course, before accepting any job, it's wise to visit the workplace to assess the extent to which it's a fit. Of course, central to choosing a career is not just skirting your limitations, including interpersonal ones, but whether a career suits your aptitudes, skills, and preferences. But maybe at least one of the careers I've just described are worth at least a Google search. In any event, thanks for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. Feel free to write a comment, to hit the share button and share on your social media, uh, or even to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.